cartoon mashup I did was really, really fun. And it was very nostalgic. And it pushed me in a way where I'm like, I'm considered an R&B soul singer and I'm singing these, like, like, I don't know what kind of songs these cartoons are. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is that I related to it. Hey everybody, it's William Carter here with InquisitiveCarter.com. Your mashup series. Yeah. I want to ask you, did you think that they would gain the traction that they did? And how did you come up with the, the concept? I never had those numbers in mind. Nah. Uh, I mean, we almost pushed in 100, 100 million just off of, just off of mashups, right? It's off of like that. <laughs> um, but I, the, the, the intention behind it was truly to exercise my musical muscle. Um, I feel like writing and creating that it was just, be, it was becoming very monotonous after a while. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, cool. We're gonna hear the same beats. We're gonna talk about the same stuff. I'm gonna be similar three, four chords. And I need an outlet because I was like, you know, I play keys. So I'm like, my mind goes in so many different directions of when I hear a DJ and I'm very finicky. I'm not a DJ, but I am a fan of transitions in the sense where like if a dj can send me from one song to the next seamlessly i'm like i look over like my guy or my you know what I mean? my girl like you did that you know what i'm saying like it's an art to that where you matching bpms you matching tones you you sharing certain things and songs as far as like words that segue you creating a story in your set like that's hard you know what i'm saying like and everybody may be drunk and partying, but for me, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. That's an art. So for me, I'm like, how can I do that in my own way where I could be a mini DJ and, you know, the arranger and the performer all in this one thing? And how can I make it relatable? And I kept hearing people talk about the 90s and we missed the 90s and take it back to the 90s and do this. And I was like, Let's just do an experiment. Let's just see. Let's see. Let's let's see if people really love the '90s. Like, and, and what is it about it? And what I started to understand was like, you know, it took people back. It it gave people that brief two to three minutes of their favorite songs in in one, right? Versus listening to these lengthy versions of it. Here's these short, abbreviated renditions of it that people can then, it's like a snapshot. They can just revisit and revisit. Um, but then also, these artists are still alive. So they're reposting it. They're, you know, Teddy Riley DMing me talking about, yo, can I repost this? I'm like, it's your songs I'm, I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad you ain't suing me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it started off as more of an experiment and just exercise, then it turned into, nostalgia then it turned into a brand in the sense of you know making art shape history that is the acronym for mash now in a sense to say okay i have the responsibility to understand what it means to target the, my present day audience while still paying you know homage to my predecessors and while still using the technology of you know today to kind of build into the future of what we're doing with social media. So the mashup has taken a life of its own and, and me being a budding entrepreneur, uh, I, I use that and I really expound upon it um, in a sense where like, I could have just left it at saying, uh, let's just keep, let's keep me in the boxes. Now it's like, no, nah, let's, let's take it to the, to the stage now. Let's do a whole interview series of the mashup show and interview the people that you're paying tribute to. Um, so now it's a whole thing. Like, that's a complete different extension of Kevin Ross. So I, I love that aspect, you know, especially, you know, the 90s, the thousand, all of that good stuff. Yeah. You know, we love to see it. Um, but I want to ask you, what can fans expect for season two of the series? You know, I'm doing it a little different now, just because of the fact that, like, I'm touring now. It's not like... I'm just at home. 
Uh, so it's a little different, but uh, you know, the first person we had was Anthony Hamilton, and um, we've been putting we've been putting um, episodes in the can. Um, but I want to make sure that every live episode that we do on Facebook and YouTube, um, it will happen on Mondays. But I want to make sure that it's right that we make sure that we come correct with the artists. It's people that they want to see, that they want to hear from, um, and then everything else is kind of a you know a very pleasant caveat. But I think that, uh, yeah, for, for season two and just kind of the mashup world within itself, I'm looking to expand it even more on stage in a sense of, you know, figuring out how to, how to not just make it like a three or four minute segment, but really shaping it into more of a variety show in a sense. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And, um, you know, I'm just putting that out into the universe that, you know, there'll be creative minds that I can collaborate with to make that come to life. Because, it's, you know, that realm is far bigger than far bigger than me, for sure. Now, I won't ask you your uh, favorite celebrity guest. I won't do that to you. We ain't going to do that to uh, you. But yeah. I want to know if you have a favorite matchup that you've done and released so far. I have a few. I got a few. Um, I think that the cartoon mashup I did was really, really fun and it was very nostalgic and it pushed me in a way where I'm like, I'm considered an R&B soul singer and I'm singing these, like, like, I don't know what kind of songs these cartoons are, you know what I'm saying? But all I know is that I related to it. Power Rangers, I related to it. Pokemon, I related to it. I related to those things being a black kid from DC, you dig what I'm saying? So I was like, well, if I relate to it, then that means that it's a part of me. So I gotta, I gotta be true to how I would sing it. So I can't come off and be like, I want to be the very best. Right. Like <laughs> I got to sing with a little heart because that's in my heart. That's how I would do it. And 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 for it to have kind of transformed into what it is, and like, I mean, hearing like or like little kids watching it because I open with SpongeBob, right? So that's something that you know, kids that are what of uh, you know from maybe fifteen on down would understand because SpongeBob is still on, so that piques their interest. But they may not know Tiny Tune. They may not know, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the stuff that we grew up on, but it was for us. It was for our age demo because uh, not only is it fun, but it just allows for us to just for like a brief moment, just to zone out and just, you know what I mean? Like just just really think back to be like, yo, I remember when this, I remember when this like came on. Like we don't have like, the, it's like, we don't have that anymore, right? So. To me, the cartoon one for sure. Here we go. We're tiny, we're Tony, we're all a little lonely. And then this cartoony, we're invading your TV. We're comic dispensers, we cracked up all the sensors. At Tiny Tony, bitch, you're getting a dose of comedy. We're animaniacs. And we're zany to the max. It's hard for me to choose one of the '90s ones. Um, it's yeah, it's very difficult to. Um, but I just say the '90s ones, just just off of the strength that that really like. I mean, that really like went off, like in the sense of like on IG, you know, my following just from the just from the '90s segments. I only did five. Um, maybe maybe my maybe my fan base grew maybe 50, 50 to 60,000 within like the span of 5 to 6 weeks you know what i mean so that was like like i was freakishly uh bizarre for me you know what i mean like to see something like snowball like that it's driving me out of my mind that's why it's hard for me to find Thank you. 
challenges me i did a super mario one um where i you know i did the the first board where i like part of me is like playing it but i'm the music in the background of it um you know i just like i love to explore different things where it's like you can't tell me what i can't do in the sense of like i'm gonna do games i'm gonna do cartoons i'm gonna do tv shows i'm gonna do the things that relate to me and even though it may not look like me it may not look like us it's still you know what I mean? If if it resonates with my heart, then it is. You know what I mean? Because I see myself in that. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Now, <laughs> one Bob now ain't just one Bob back then. But you know, I, I still catch a couple episodes off of it. And Pokemon's theme song still slap, bro. Now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>